If you're trying to help a turtle across the road, do keep in mind that uh, you don't want to put your own life or the lives of others at risk. But if it's safe to do so, helping a turtle across the road can be a really useful thing for turtle conservation. Saving that one adult turtle is a big impact compared to many other animals that have shorter lifespans and reproduce more quickly. You can be a turtle crossing guard pretty easily by simply picking up a turtle and moving it to the other side. Not back to the lake because then it has to start its trek all over again to go back to its nesting site. But if you move it in the direction it's going across the road, then that can be a really big help. If you're going to move a turtle off of the road, for most species, the smaller ones especially, you can just grab them like a hamburger and pick them up. But on a snapping turtle, these are danger zones for your hands. They could reach out and snap you. Their necks are very long. So you want to go behind the back feet. So starting about here, grab onto the shell, tip it up like a wheelbarrow, and then you're able to move it kind of like this off of the road. It's a very fast, effective, and safe method for both you and for the turtle. If the turtle's shell is cracked and broken from being hit by a car usually, or sometimes a boat propeller strike, you don't want to grab the shell to pick them up. So another thing you can do is get the very base of their tail, not picking them up by the tail, but just the very base of the tail, and tip them up a little bit like a wheelbarrow so you're not holding the shell, just the base of the tail. Slide your hand underneath. Depending on how big the turtle is, you have to reach a long way under there. And then you can lift them up using your hand on the lower shell or plastron to support the weight to be able to pick them up and transfer them into a container like a large Rubbermaid tub or even a cardboard box to be able to send them to the Ontario Turtle Conservation Centre for rehabilitation and hopefully eventually release back into the wild.